Alexa Bracero, and I am the president of the Hoboken High School Student Government. We would like to welcome you all to our third annual Hoboken High School Student Government induction ceremony. <laughs> to begin our ceremony, Kendra McDonough will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. <laughs> Senior class president Haley Benway will come up to sing the national anthem. This year so far has been productive. We've had school-wide elections for officers, class council presidents, vice presidents, and grade level council members, which are all here on the stage, or to your right. These members are fully functioning and participating members of our student government. We hosted the following events, fall pep rally, Red Wings giveaways and football games, morning announcements, our third annual Italian heritage flag raising, and our Halloween spooky scavenger hunt that is underway and we have advocated for the student body here at Hoboken High School. Coming soon, we'll have the Red Wing on the Shelf holiday activities, our third annual Field of Heroes, and we'll be participating in the Out of the Darkness Walk at the Stevens Institute this weekend. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the Hoboken High School administration for working with us. We have standing monthly meetings with the administration. A new addition to our Red Wing family, we also have the, student, the new student newsletter entitled The Red Wing Observer, under the direction of senior Naomi Cook. And an addition will be out within the next month. And now for tonight's ceremony. We've done all this and it's only October 19th. And just like last year and the year before that, I'm tired. <laughs> you will not see much of me for the rest of this induction ceremony, thank God. This will mostly be a student run event. This is their night, this is their moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the Hoboken High School Student Government. At this time, I would like to introduce and bring back to the stage President Alexa Bracero um, for her address. Good evening, parents, family, Hoboken High School and District Administration, and members of the Hoboken High School Student Government. Thank you for attending tonight's third annual Hoboken High School Student Government Induction Ceremony. We are extremely happy to have all of you here with us to witness how far we've come in the past two years when student government was first introduced. 
In the past three months, I've seen all your hard work and dedication to this organization. Having such a passionate group of students like you, who are willing to take actions and dedicate your time to student government, is vital when it comes to making a difference in our school community. Today, we would like to recognize your contribution to Hoboken High School student government as officers, presidents, vice presidents, committee chairs, and representatives. All of you piece together to make up the student government as a whole. Without your commitment, we would not have over 70 members sitting here tonight waiting to be inducted. Thank you. At this time, I would like to call Secretary Madison and Morgan to the podium with a special presentation. Senior Class Council. Recently, we were notified that two of our own Secretary Madison Wally Peters and our Treasurer Morgan Wally Peters were selected for the 2024 Class of Governor's STEM Scholarships. <laughs> the pair, both juniors at HHS, are the first in the school's history to be accepted into the program. The Governor's STEM scholars aim to counter a brain drain of STEM talent in New Jersey by offering networking, research, and career development, opportunities for state high achieving students from grades 10 through the doctorate level. It is a public-private partnership among the Research and Development Council of New Jersey, the Office of the Governor, the Department of Education, and the Office of the Secretary of Higher Education, and the state's leading research companies. Morgan and Madison earned the scholarship having both excelled at Hoboken High School students. They have both recognized on math competitions in the NJ math, excuse me, Mathematic Leagues. They have completed a pre-med and biological engineering program at Stevens Institute of Technology. The pair are also competitive volleyball players having competed in the U.S. Junior National Volleyball Tournament in Chicago. Madison was the varsity captain of the HHS volleyball team and hopes to lead the team to the state championship this year. Madison has written papers of the future of genome editing and is currently researching the links between access to health care and the mental well-being of teenagers. She was also elected as Secretary of Hoboken High School Student Government. Morgan is committed to fostering positive change in neuroscience and is currently doing research investigating the con congenitive, sorry, inheritance associated with non-dominant handwriting with potential implications for Alzheimer's disease patients. She was also elected as treasurer of the Hoboken High School of Student Government and co-founded the Health and Wellness Community Committee. <laughs> the pair are both passionate about healthcare equity and intend to advocate in their careers for making healthcare accessible to everyone. We would like to present to Madison and Morgan with certificates of accomplishment from the Hoboken High School Student Government. Government's bylaws. 
You should at all times be watchful for activities, projects, and programs which could benefit your government, its members, or the school as a whole. Ultimately, the success of this organization rests in your hands. Do you agree to abide by the student government's bylaws and to adhere to the student government's and Hoboken High School Code of Ethics? The answer, I do. I do. Please raise your right hand and you will get take the oath of office. Repeat after me. In the presence of honored guests and members, in the presence of honored guests and members, here assembled, here assembled, I state your name, I Matt McDermott, do solemnly promise and pledge, do solemnly promise and pledge, to faithfully execute the duties of office, to faithfully execute the duties of office, of the Red Wing Student Government, of the Red Wing Student Government, to the best of my knowledge and ability, to the best of my knowledge and ability, to commit myself to the Hoboken High School Student Government's Code of Ethics. And to further the goals and objectives of this organization. And to further the goals and objectives of this organization. On behalf of the Hoboken Board of Education, Hoboken High School Administration, faculty, and the Hoboken High School Student Government, I hereby install you as officers of the Hoboken High School Student Government for the years of 2023-2024. Congratulations. <laughs> Cody's not here, I'm sorry, Kobe. Oh, I'm gonna get you, Kobe. So at this time they're signing the ledger, officially accepting their elected office. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your officers. At this time, I would like to call back to the podium President Bracero and Vice President McDonough to the podium to administer the oath of office for all student government members, starting with the ninth grade. Freshman class council, please come to the stage to take their oath of office, office for student government. Spirits. I will respect each individual and uphold the spirits. 
and traditions of Hoboken High School and to make a worthy member of the Hoboken High School student government. As the Vice President of the Hoboken High School Student Government, I accept your pledge and dedication to uphold the traditions of Hoboken High School. Congratulations. <laughs> at this time, one at a time, you will sign your name into our book.
At this time, will the sophomore class council please come to the stage to take your oath of office. Please raise your right hand and recite the pledge after me. On my honor, I state your name. On my honor, I state your name. Promise to uphold the standards and ideals of Hoboken High School. To cooperate with the faculty and student body. In all things in which they undertake. To preserve in myself an unprejudiced mind in considering problems which may arise to strive always for those things which are in the best interest of the school. I will respect each individual and uphold the spirits And traditions, and traditions of Hoboken High School. And to make a worthy member of the Hoboken High School student government. And to make worthy member of the Hoboken High School As Vice President of the Hoboken High School student government, I accept your pledge and dedication to uphold the traditions of Hoboken High School. Congratulations. Now, just like the freshmen, we will be writing our names.
give it up once again for the sophomore class council. Junior Class Council, please come to the stage to take the oath of the morning. Recite the pledge after me. On my honor, I state your name. Promise to uphold the standards and ideals of Hoboken High School. To cooperate with the faculty and student body in all things which they undertake. To preserve in myself an unprejudiced mind. To preserve in myself an unprejudiced mind. And considering problems which may arise. And considering problems which may arise. To strive always for those things which. To strive always for those things which. Are in the best interest of the school. Are in the best interest of the school. I will respect each individual and uphold the spirits. And traditions, of school, and traditions of Hoboken High School, and to make a worthy member of the Hoboken High School student government. As president of the Hoboken High School student government, I accept your pledge and dedication to uphold the traditions, traditions of Hoboken High School. Congratulations.
give it up again for the Junior Class Council.
council members stay on stage and will Secretary Madison Walia Peters and Treasurer, Treasurer Morgan Walia Peters please come to the podium to assist Mr. Munoz with the senior court presentation. member of Hoboken High School Choir, member of National Spanish Honor Society, national, uh, member of Spanish, oh, senior class president, student activities intern, and homecoming queen. Haley has an array of accomplishments, such as national recognition for her performance in theater and honor awards for community service. One piece of advice she would like to give to the freshmen is to do everything. Be involved as much as you can and reach for the stars and beyond. If I could do it, so could you. Crystal Bilbao. After, <laughs> after high school, she wants to go to college and study business and probably music. She is not sure where she wants to go to college yet, but she is looking at schools in New York and Pennsylvania. <laughs> Mabel Blischke Villavicencio is a senior at the <laughs> four-year college, some of her top choices being Syracuse University, George Washington University, or University of Wisconsin-Madison. Mabel wants to major in interior architectural design and get a master's in architecture. She has participated in numerous clubs throughout her time in Hoboken High School, including Drama Club, Debate Club, Student Government, National Honor Society, Spanish National Honor Society, um, and Chorus. She has also found, founded the Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Club. Some of her accomplishments at Hoboken High School were Superior Acting Awards at the International Thespians Festival, Debate Awards for Princeton Model Congress and Mock Trial, and Honor Roll Achievements throughout her four years. As a word of advice for the current and incoming freshmen, make sure to manage your time wisely for classes and club activities, and not overlook yourselves. But most important, always make sure to have fun. Alexa Brosser. <laughs> Alexa Brosser is a senior at Hoboken High School, not certain on which school she is committing to, but has been accepted into Moravian University, Gwendon University, University of New Haven, and Western New England University. She plans to apply for many more. Alexa wants to study in sport management and maybe minor in athletic training. Some of the many clubs and teams Alexa belongs to are varsity starters for basketball and softball since freshman year, president of Hispanic Culture Club, member of National Honor Society and Spanish National Honor Society. Some advice Alexa would like to give freshmen are, don't rush the time you have in high school, because time really does fly. Live in the moment, work hard, and chase your dreams. Virginia Tech, James Madison University, and University of Kentucky. She hopes to study art with a major in fine arts, design, or interior design, as well as a double major in either business or psychology. In high school, Naomi has been a very involved student in student government, serving as a student board rep junior year, and restarting the high school student newspaper as editor-in-chief. In addition to AP classes, she's been very involved in the National Honor Society serving as a vice president her senior year, and earning the ambassador award for 100 community service hours in a year. She has enjoyed four years participating in theater competitions and productions, as well as debate programs and competitions. However, however, one of her most proud accomplishments is her art, winning the judges award at the Hudson County Art Festival the last three years. If she were to give any advice to the freshmen, it would be to focus on your unique gifts and what you're good at, and to have fun with the time you have. Reedy Damani. Reedy Damani is a senior at Hoboken High School 
who has great ambitions for her future and is sure that this will not be the last time you will hear her name. She is planning on attending Harvard University to study poop science and plans to use, to use her many years of experience in theater in order to get her through it. She is pretty awesome and is frequently described as spicy by her classmates and teachers. Her advice to the freshman class is to try and find the fun in everything, no matter how boring it may seem. This singular piece of advice got her through all of her school years. Harvard, here she comes. Sage Gertman. After four years of hard work, Sage Gertman is finally a senior at Hoboken High School. Throughout her time, she has participated in many activities, including mock trial and model UN. She has also taken on many leadership positions, such as being president of Jewish American Culture Club and being the vice president of the GSA for two years. She is interested in studying global studies and health policy at a liberal arts college, hopefully in Boston. One piece of advice she has for the freshman students is to make the most of high school. Kendall McDonough. Kendall is an accomplished senior who is very sad that this is her last year at Hoboken High School. In addition to being vice president of the student government, over, over her time at HHS, she has been involved heavily with the theater and debate programs. She has won, I mean, she has traveled to Indiana with the theater department and won superior acting awards. In addition to this, she has enjoyed traveling to Madrid with the debate program, where she won Best Delegate. Kendall is in the middle of applying to multiple four-year colleges, but some of her top schools are Villanova, University of Delaware, and Syracuse University. She is not completely sure what her major is yet, but interested in broadcasting and journalism. Her biggest piece of advice for the freshmen is to enjoy the time while it lasts, because it goes by way too quick. Mary Claire McGreevy. Mary Claire McGreevy is a senior at HHS and is involved in numerous activities besides student government, including marching band, chorus, and the debate program. Through her time at HHS, she has exhibited leadership in several clubs, being the president of GSA and NHS secretary. Mary Claire would like to study environmental science and design flood protection infrastructure for coastal communities. Her advice for the freshman class is to try new things and get involved. Gabe Mestre. Gabe is known for many things around the school. His jokes, lacrosse, but more importantly, being greatness. Gabe takes part in lacrosse and student government as well as being crowned homecoming kid. Gabe plans on attending trade school to become an electrician. Mara Reba. Although she can't believe it, Mara is now a senior at Hoboken High School. Throughout her time here, she has been involved in many activities, including theater, debate, and even taking on titles such as a captain of the swim team. She is interested in attending whatever, whatever small liberal arts college she gets into and studying either history or international relations with a minor in Spanish. One piece of advice that she has for our freshman students is to remember to have fun High school doesn't last forever, and you should make your memories worthwhile. <laughs> Alana Rebus. <laughs> Alana is a very extraordinary student at Hoboken High School. She has dedicated her time and effort to many different programs, such as theater, band, chorus, student government, Hispanic Culture Club, National Honor Society, and Spanish National Honor Society, just to name a few. The best part is, she does it all with an unwavering smile on her face. She recently has won the Best Drum Major Award at the Tournament of Band Sparta Competition, and won as many other awards with the Hoboken High School Marching Band. She is not sure of what college she will be attending, but she has her heart set on majoring in puppet arts and minoring in bagpiping. <laughs> To the freshman class, she advises them to never be afraid to ask questions, as it can lead you to pursue 
many different opportunities that you never would have thought would be possible. Liana Rivera. After high school, Liana wants to study English, English literature and cosmetology. She's unsure where she wants to go right now, but she's looking at a school in New York and Pennsylvania. Mario Pabo. Mario Pabon is a senior at Hoboken High School who has been an active member of the student government for two years. He has also been a part of the GSA, Best Buddies, and Classroom Without Walls program. He wants to leave Hoboken High School with positivity and wish luck upon the incoming freshmen. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the class of 2024. Thank you, everyone. You can exit stage right. So, we have an interesting array of, of, of ambitions and colleges and majors, bagpiping. Sayonara, $40,000 a year for puppets. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say we have some amazing students. Um, Madison and Morgan, congratulations. The first two in Hoboken High School history to win that award from the governor. So congratulations. <laughs> Alana and Crystal winning best drum major. Um, and, I mean, it, it, the list goes on and on. And you guys are just amazing. So thank you for allowing me to be your advisor. And now my favorite part of the entire ceremony, you would think it was the seniors, but it's actually my Athenian pledge. So, definitely not the parents. Did I say that loud? I'm kidding. I love you guys. I love the parents. Give it a give, give round of applause for the parents. So everything, we, we end our ceremony every year with the Athenian pledge. So the original oath of the Athenian city-state was required in ancient Athens to become a citizen. The exact text of the oath has a number of translations, but the oath basically states, civil responsibility to one city. This oath is used by a number of public service organizations, and these are words used to describe a true public servant and a true citizen. The words are also a good reminder in the meaning of why we decided to serve in student government and our responsibilities to our city of Oakland. So members of the student government, please rise and raise your right hand and repeat after me. We will never break disgrace on this our city. We will never break disgrace on this our city. By an act of dishonesty or cowardice. By an act of dishonesty or cowardice. We will fight for the ideals and sacred things. We will fight for the ideals and sacred things. Of the city, both alone and with many. We will revere and obey the city's laws. We will revere and obey the city's laws. And we'll do our best to incite a like reverence. And we'll do our best to incite a like reverence. And respect in those above us who are. And respect in those above us who are. Prone to annul them or set them at naught. Prone to annul them or set them at naught. We will strive unceasingly to quicken. The public sense of civic duty. The public sense of civic duty. Thus, in all these ways, Thus, in all these ways we will transmit the city. We will transmit the city. Not only, not less. Not only, not less. But greater and more beautiful. But greater and more beautiful. Than it was given to us. Than it was given to us. Red Wings, do you subscribe? Congratulations on your induction this evening to the Hope High School Student Government. Thank you.
I just want to thank everyone um, for coming to our third annual. Um, I would just like to point out that the seniors not only received their cords this evening for graduation, but they also received black stoles for graduation as well. Um, I want to thank a couple of people for, for putting this on, for making this possible and always helping me. Um, I know they're probably hiding in the back, but uh, Miss Cindy and Miss Angela, are you guys here? Please take a bow because you guys really kind of like get me through this when I'm running around and all the kids are laughing at me. Look, she's waving in the back. There you go. Um, I would like to thank the Hoboken High School administration, particularly Miss Pick, who's over here to your left. Um, Doing things like this is easy when you have an administrator like Miss Pick always backing you up and letting you run away with your imagination and every crazy idea that you have that comes across her desk. And I walk into her office, she's like, what are you doing now, Boy, you know. But she always backs me up and she always makes it easy for us. So thank you for being our, one of our biggest fans. <laughs> Parents, I, you have some great kids here, but oh boy. I salute, well, I salute you because you guys have done an amazing job. These are all great kids, and thank you very much for your support. <laughs> Two things. One, we are selling breast cancer awareness bracelets, which we are um, actually donating all the proceeds to the Breast Cancer Research of America. Um, where's Camilla Suarez? If you would please stand up. Give Camilla a bow. She's in charge of our <laughs> Women's Empowerment Committee, and she is taking that on single-handedly. As well as we are selling um, Field of Heroes flags. This will be our third annual Hoboken High School Field of Heroes. And what it is is that we actually honor a Hoboken veteran if you purchase a flag for $5. And um, we will be having our ceremony, I think it was November 8th, at 10 a.m. in front of Blue Tech Liberty um, Junior Stadium. So you'll be getting an email from me about that, parents. But I just want to thank you very much for everyone for coming tonight. And most importantly, I want to thank the kids, the students. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you for coming, everyone. If the student government could stand, if the student government can please stand in front of the stage, everybody, just get a quick picture. Thank you. Oh wait, one more thing. I just want to say I forgot one person who has been huge and a huge supporter. Um, I knew I was doing this over the summer. I put it on the district calendar, and I forgot to include one person to make sure that everyone knew this happened. Mr. McCauley's in the back. He didn't know he had to stay, but he stayed tonight to help us. So thank you, Mr. McCauley.